welcome to this waxing and ranting episode ASMR edition. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do an ASMR video and I also have to wax my legs so I thought I'd kill approximately 79 birds with one stone. If you're wondering what those 79 birds are, I have to wax my legs. You guys want me to do an ASMR video. I have to wax my legs. I have to wax my legs. So that's what we're doing this week. Sue me. This microphone is really bad in case you're wondering. I know it's made a ton of appearances in my videos, but as soon as it's anything louder than a fart, this is what happens. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this. Wait, you can't even see anything. Hold on. That's better. I'm sorry. I think that was a little bit loud. I'm sorry if I committed ear rape. <laughs> Three, two, lift off. Mm -hmm. ASMR. So what do I think of it? It's weird. I don't like it. It's not satisfying whatsoever. It's cringy and that's saying a lot because me, I'm pretty cringy. I wonder if I can cough in ASMR. <coughs> I hope my voice sounds like a flowing river. <laughs> ASMR kazoo playing. Let's make that a thing. I have a dark secret. I've never played Fortnite and I still don't understand what it is. Here's the thing. I don't do well with like fighting games. I'm still scared of Minecraft. I used to be scared of the zombies when they would come knocking on my door in the middle of the night in Minecraft. That was it for me. Like I would just shut down the application and I would go running to my mom. And I'm pretty sure if I played Minecraft now, I'd be terrified. <laughs> You know, I'm actually trying to do a good job here. Every single time I wax my legs, it's just super patchy. There's like little forests of hair. Will you guys get mad at me if I get a new camera? Because I film on my phone. It's an iPhone 6. It's really not convenient whatsoever. And it runs out of storage once I've filmed like 30 minutes. I've already seen some of you people in the comments be like, Never get a camera or else I'm going to unsubscribe. You never can ever do that. <laughs> so not gonna lie, I'm like kind of scared for my life. <sighs> this is nasty. James Charles? is quaking. <coughs> oh my god, that smells disgusting. Wait, but it's just water. It smells like salami. Do you guys remember Webkins? Because I do. And let me tell you, I was obsessed with Webkins. Like, probably unhealthily obsessed. When I was between the ages of, I think, eight and 11, I would literally force my parents to buy me Webkins like twice a month. Because of that reason, I was able to accumulate 35 Webkins. I bought clothes for all of them. I was a good parent, you know? Oh my god, there's a spider. No, no, this is not okay. No. Oh my god, it's like literally jumping. Do you see that? Oh my god, stop. <laughs> That is a cavern of Webkins. And no, I'm not gonna give them away. I'm too emotionally attached to them. Why is this a thing? Who thought this was okay? Charles Darwin did not include this in his theory of evolution, and I feel offended. On another note, do you guys remember Build-A-Bear? This one I got for my 12th birthday, and there was an option to like put a little button in the arm, and when you press it, it could sing you happy birthday. And guess what? The button, it's so old that the song it sings back to you is like some sort of demonic garbage. How beautiful was that? Okay, we need to get back to waxing our legs. You know what I don't understand? Instagram live streams. Am I the only one who feels like that? Like, they're just incredibly awkward. And it kind of looks like you're talking to a calculator, you know? Something else I don't find natural. Musically. What idiot thought that lip syncing to popular songs was considered a talent and that we should monetize it? Cause it's not. There's too much cringe on the internet, you know? I have a little bit of a bone to pick with nut allergies. You see, me, you might not know this, but I do have a nut allergy. Well, 
Here's the thing, I'm not allergic to macadamia nuts, almonds, pine nuts, chestnuts, or coconut, but nut allergies, you know, they are a real party pooper. Imagine this, you're sitting down, you have this amazing bowl of ice cream and butterscotch and like chocolate, and then you check the ingredients and guess what? There's a big fat may contain nuts. <laughs> What? Oh, and it's not like a little, you'll get a couple hives type of thing. No, it's a full anaphylactic nut allergy. This is an EpiPen. And if you just happen to be choking to death because your body is not good friends with nuts, blue to the sky, orange to the thigh, and this literal inch long needle bursts out of this end, <laughs> I've been on this one leg for 40 minutes. <laughs> Can you hear the wax? There's a wonderful place in Ontario where all the dolphins dance in a row, you know. From big to small, we got something for all. Everyone loves marine land. Yesterday, I was digging through the chasm that is my closet and I found some of my old glasses from when I was in like grade three. So I'd like to share that with you. My first pair of glasses came when I was in grade two and they looked like this. This is like the epitome of can I talk to your manager? And then in grade six, little 12 year old me went, you know what? I've had enough of these glasses. They're ugly and I'm tired of them. So I went and got a new pair of glasses. Now these ones, they were pink and sparkly. And unfortunately I only have pictures of them because I lost them in the ocean. Yes, you heard that right. Let me explain how that happened. So I was in grade eight and I was in Barbados for a training camp and uh, me being a student stupid 13 year old, I decided to, you know, take a walk in the ocean with my glasses on. Why I didn't put in contacts, I have no idea. And mind you, at this point in time, I was probably like four foot nine and weighed like 85 pounds. If the breeze was too strong, I would just, you know, fall over. So I go into the ocean when all of a sudden this big wave, which to me looked like a tsunami wave, I remember looking up at it and it just falls down and like engulfs me. And I was down there for like three minutes. No, no, that's an exaggeration. It was like 10 seconds. And I was freaking out, obviously. Wow, I look so snazzy with these glasses. Sorry. I don't even notice that my glasses are gone. It's only when I get up and I start walking away and I notice that I can't see anything that I start to freak out. And of course I start to cry and my glasses are not there. As soon as I got back to Canada, my mom threw me in the car and we went to the eye doctor and I had to pick out a new pair of glasses. These were the chosen ones. Now, these ones, whoa, hey, hey there. I feel so intelligent. I'm like mega mind, you know, don't come at me. So yeah, these were the beautiful frames I rocked from I think grade eight until like grade 11. The best part about these, if you wanted to go out and it was really sunny, guess what you just had to do? <laughs> I mean, do you wanna fight this? excuse you. This is fashion, okay? But then I found my calling in life and got these beautiful gold frames. So yeah, that's my life story told through my glasses. It's like a furry animal. It's technique. Oof. The last thing I wanted to discuss with you guys about my favorite, hate comments. I'm pretty impartial towards hate comments. You might notice that uh, sometimes if I'm feeling, you know, a little bit wild, I will heart the hate comments. However, if the hate comment is just you know, like creme de la creme of hate comments, full of grammar mistakes, so many swear words that you just don't even know what's happening, I will pin it. And uh, some people have been the unfortunate victims of that. If you're a hate comment and you're looking to get pinned, here are my three rules. One, you have to use the wrong your. For the sake of this video and to confuse you even more, there is no difference between your and your with an apostrophe. Go ham in the comment section. Do your worst, okay? I want to see it. Secondly, you have to give me at least one swear word, at least an F word, and bonus points if you give me more than one. And finally, you have to accuse me of copying someone because, you know, I'm a fraud in itself. So after this video, I'm expecting top-notch hate comments. You need a hook, a thesis, you need your three points, and then you need a strong concluding statement, okay? Oh, and don't forget your bibliography. 
that concludes this episode of waxing and ranting i'm sorry if this gave you immense cringe life with mac yeah i i don't even know who that is anyways ladies and gentlemen thank you for spending this friday night with me and uh i'll see you guys next week i'm gonna try to post more it really depends how much school work i have love you all and uh see you guys in the next one